I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things video short. The Book of Philemon. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, uh, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you hear something? Oh, and donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps Higher Things a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. And I'm going to tell you, that in these times where religious groups are not able to gather together, higher things need your support more than ever. Give today. Tax deductible right there. You're not going to provide treats for Thor, um, but you will help us pass the faith to the next generation for another year. I do not like to give lots of introduction to books. We've done uh, the book of Galatians between ourselves. And we've also done the book of, uh, we're doing the book of St. Matthew, um, two o'clock central daylight time every day, streamed on Facebook and then available on YouTube afterwards. Um, I love just jumping into a book. Everything you know about a book should be evident by the actual book. You shouldn't need a smart person to tell you what's going on in a book. It should be very, very evident to you right then and there. And so let's take a look at the first three verses and see what we can ascertain from the book of Philemon. Short book, it's like 25 verses. Now you don't say um, that's in Philemon 1.1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. Uh, a book this short, you simply... Um, say Philemon 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, each verse is just a verse. There's no 1-1, one, one, there's no chapter. There's only one chapter, and so it's assumed. All right. And that's about as much introduction as I want to give. Paulus, Paul, prisoner of Christ Jesus. So he's not a prisoner of, of, of Rome, even though he's in house arrest in Rome. Um, Paul's house arrest in Rome places this letter probably in the neighborhood of 60 AD. And Timothy, our brother, Timothy, uh, the brother, our brother. Um, that would mean that the hour at the end is doing um, uh, double duty. That's okay. Um, Timothy, the brother. So Paul and Timothy together, this is pretty much universally accepted, even by liberal theologians, as having been written by Paul. There's, it's undisputed, undisputed um, to be written by Paul. And I think this will give us a snapshot of our faith in action. But again, not what I think. Let's read the text. Paul, prisoner of Christ Jesus, so he's, he's a prisoner, not of Rome, but of Jesus Christ. Timothy, the brother, Philemon, to Philemon, our beloved, uh, the, uh, uh, our beloved and co-worker, soon ergo, soon together ergos worker. So um, Paul says of Timothy, he's our brother. We know young pastor Timothy. Um, from the, the epistles, 1st and 2nd Timothy, and from the book of Acts, Philemon, um, uh, probably a Christian who lived in Colossa. It's generally accepted by that. Um, so, uh, and if he's a fellow worker with Timothy, and Paul, he's probably Pastor um, Pastor Philemon, uh, or he's recognized generally by the early church as a bishop. Same thing. Um, but that's a song for another time. And Apthea, our sister, um, and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and the church the ecclesia, the congregation in your house. And this is what happened in the early church. They didn't have big buildings. They met in people's houses, people's houses who were a little bit more, maybe um, had a big enough house for them to meet. 
Um, that doesn't mean that there wasn't pasture and sheep. Um, there was. Anybody who tells you otherwise is, um, well, they're sort of bending what's going on in the scriptures in order to fit some sort of, you know, we want to commune people in their houses sort of thing. Um, uh, so we, I mean, we have evidence of this. Philemon is a pastor. Archippus and Aphia are servants. Um, Philemon and them, there's a church that meets in Aphia and Archippus's house. Um, Archippus may be a pastor, and that would make Aphia uh, his wife. Um, that's what I pretty much would would guess. Um, probably Philemon's wife. Uh, that's the his, excuse me. Um, so we've got pastor and people, pastor and church. That's what generally happens. Any uh, young pup, seven-year-old, says Dr. Luther, knows what the church is. Sheep who hear the shepherd's voice. Sheep, congregation, shepherd, pastor. And all letters begin, grace to y'all and peace from God the Father, uh, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. And so um, that sounds very Pauline. Could, without doubt, because Paul identifies himself as the writer. Um, and so we have a letter to Philemon. Philemon is known to be in Colossa um, to... Um, also to Archippus um, and our sister, Aphia, um, uh, fellow soldiers, uh, colleagues, um, uh, and the colleague is um, uh, a masculine, which means it refers to the two. It refers to Archippus and Philemon. And it's and the reason why we think that our uh Aphia, Aphia was his wife is because um she's addressed separately from the church um and not included in the fellow soldier. Um Archippus is um the fellow soldier, masculine. Okay. So um that is a good enough entrance to a letter that we're going to have fun with in the next few weeks, a letter which I believe is going to give us a picture of what's going on in the early church. It'll tell us about faith and love next week, slavery, and how how the church views slavery. Um, all of it jam-packed into a few weeks and going through a book with only 25 verses. Again, invite you to Bible study daily right there. Um, on the Gospel of Matthew, 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and you will find that, find that in the Higher Things Facebook um, channel. I'm Pastor George Borkart and uh, Snoozing Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.